time for my WEC predictions. We begin with Jamel Massou, and he is fighting Eric Koch. Now, Koch is, has a perfect record of seven. He wins by submission. He's got five of those seven uh, by that. Uh, the only name that I recognised that he had uh, beaten was Joe Pearson. Uh, Jamel is 21 and 6, so there's a big gap there. Uh, he wins by submission and TKO. He has 10 submission wins and 7 TKO uh, wins. So there we are. He loses by submission, though. So there we are. Um, he is actually coming off two losses in a row. Uh, he loses to the likes of Clay French and Leonard Garcia. Wins over the likes of Orion Healy. So, uh, they both go uh, quite in uh, for submissions, but Jamel also has the advantage of the stand-up there, and uh, he's got a long record. Um, I'm going to go for Jamel. I am going to go for Jamel, and I'll say that I think he'll win probably by TKO. I don't see him winning by submission, because if the other guy has five uh, submission wins out of his seven, he's probably got pretty good defence as well. Uh, so I'll go for TKO there. I'll go for it in round two. Next one, Kyle Dietz is fighting Brad Pickett. Now Brad Pickett is uh, somebody from Cage Rage who sort of moved up from there. Uh, this is in fact his debut. He is on a seven fight win streak. Uh, he, his wins, well he's got eight submission wins and six TKO wins out of a record of 17 and 4. Uh, usually loses by submission. He is fighting Kyle Dietz, um, who wins and loses by decision, but is coming off a loss. Record is only 5 and 1. The thing about Brad Pickett is I couldn't actually find many names that I recognised on, on his record to sort of back up that 17 and 4 um, record. I don't know instantly who is going to win this one. Um, or how. I'm erring towards Brad Pickett, but I think that's because I know him a little bit more, and I don't really know Kyle Dietz very well. I shall go for Brad Pickett, but I shall say I don't know how he's going to win that one, so by question mark there. Uh, Brandon Vischer, uh, 12, with a perfect record of 12, uh, wins usually by submission or TKO. He's got four subs and five uh, TKOs. He is fighting Tyler Toner uh, with a record of 9-1. and one. Uh, Five TKO wins. He wins over the likes of G.J. Fuentes. Loses to the likes of Scott Jorgensen, who I think is also fighting on the card. Mm. This is probably going to be uh, stand-up versus grounds. They both can do TKOs, but... Brandon has the advantage of the submission. I think he will try and take it down to keep his perfect record intact. I am going to go... I'm going to go with Brandon Vischer. I'll go for him by submission in the third. I, I don't know the guys in WEC quite as well as I know the guys uh, in the UFC, so that's why trying to get my face framed perfectly. Uh, so that's why I, I'm a little bit more sort of not quite sure about myself here. Now, the next fight is quite a special one for me. This is Moosin Cobre, and he has a record of 7-4. Uh, he has five wins uh, by submission. Loses by TKO. He is coming off two losses. Uh, he loses to the likes of Nick Diaz and Jim Miller. Now, he is fighting somebody called Zach Micklewright, who is making his debut. He's got a record of 6-0, and zero, and he is very well-rounded, really, in what he wins by. Uh, he is, um, as far as I know, uh, an MFS fighter, because that is where I met him when he nearly killed him. Almost killed him. And that was just watching, so I hate to wonder what he will do 
to uh, move soon. I'm going to go for Zach McElright. Um, I'll go for TKO. Uh, I shall go for TKO in the first. Why not? Uh, Anthony Pettis, with a perfect record of seven, wins by TKO and submission. He's fighting part Bart Palazewski, 32 and 13. Uh, he's got 15 TKO victories, 10 submission victories, and 9 losses by decision. bit confused about why this fight is going on, because both these guys are sucker punch uh, fighters. Um, of course, the thing you have to remember about that is that it's more a management group than it is um, uh, a, an actual group of people who train in the same place. They don't. They train all over the place. Therefore, I suppose you can get situations where they fight each other. I... I this is the first I've heard about it, but there we are. Um, do you know, I'd like nothing more than Anthony Pettis to win this one and preserve his record, but I just don't see it, really. Um, I'm going to go for pa Bart Palazewski. Um I think I should go for him by TKO, I think. TKO in the second. So there we are. Can't be pleased about that one, you see. One of them... One or the other is going to lose, so there we are. Uh, Scott Jorgensen, 7 and 3, wins by submission and decision, loses by decision, wins over the likes of Kenji Osawa, uh, Frank Gomez, and I think Noah Thomas as well, but that could be a loss, I can't, can't quite read my writing here. Uh, he is fighting uh, Takaya Mizagaki. Uh, 12 and 3, wins, by, wins and loses by decision. Uh, loses only to the likes of Miguel Torres. Uh, wins over the likes of Jeff Curran. Hmm. I'm going to go for Mizugaki by decision here, I think. Uh, Joseph Benavides is fighting uh, Rani Yaha. Yaha is 15 and 4. Wins usually by submission. He's got 14 out of the 15 there. Uh, um, so that's quite, quite a lot of the, the wins by submission. Losses by TKO. Uh, Joseph is 10 and 1. He wins by submission usually. Uh, but he's only got six submissions to his name. Wins over the likes of Jeff Curran. Loses to the likes of Dominic Cruz. Uh, which happens to be his, his only loss. His last loss, which was by decision. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and support Rani here by submission, but I shall put the submission in the third, I think. Anthony No Junkani uh, is fighting Chris Horodeki. Horodeki is 13 and 1, wins usually by TKO and decision. Uh, his only loss is by TKO. Um, he's got wins over people like Bart Palazewski twice. Uh, but... Anthony has also beaten Bart, Bart Palazewski. He has a record of 11 and 2. Wins usually by TKO and decision, so exactly the same way. Uh, but he loses by submission. And losses to the likes of Benson Henderson and Donald Cerrone. Um, I'm going to go for Chris Horodeki here. I am going to go for Chris. Um, how? I might go for decision. Uh, and the main event is Donald Cerrone fighting Ed Radcliffe. Radcliffe, 7 and 1. Uh, he's got 5 TKO wins to his name, loses usually by submission, and loses to the likes of Marcus Hicks. Uh, Donald is 10 and 2, uh, wins usually by submission, he's got 9 of them, loses by decision. He's coming off a, lo a loss to Benson Henderson. Uh, he also loses to the likes of Jamie Varner, but wins over the likes of Razor Rob. And Danny Castillo. I'm going to go here for um, Donald Cerrone. Um, I do know that he's uh, um, quite close friends with Leonard Garcia. In fact, I think they train together quite a lot. Um, I'm going to go for him. I'm going to go for him by submission. I'll go for submission in the second. And those are my predictions. <laughs>